Hello, and welcome to another episode of CK3 of Forming the Russian Empire. Well, we're actually not doing that anymore. We're going for uniting the Slavs. So we're doing pretty good. We have a little bit more territory to go. I don't think we're going to go after... We might actually... Might as well go after Bulgaria here, just to prevent the Byzantines from eating them up. So I'm thinking we're going to go south and try to murder Bulgaria. I kind of have been avoiding that for a long time, but I think it's time. But if you guys like this video, make sure to little like and subscribe. And sorry, Bulgaria, it, your time's up. It, we, we've tried to spare you for so long, but it, it's time. It, your, your time is... Your time's gone and um we also need to uh take out the, the rest of the kingdom of hungary and they're pretty annoying because we literally have like one county left well let's go after walchi Wal 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 maybe that's how you pronounce it maybe not we're gonna do conquer duchy um right here declare war that might have been a little fast because I can't remember how we're doing right now in this campaign. It's been a couple days since playing, uh, mostly because I'm stressed out with a lot of schoolwork. I am like two weeks away from the end of a semester um, and it's getting pretty intense here at the end. So I got to make sure I do all my schoolwork. Uh, there shouldn't be a lack of videos, but there might be a lack of additional videos, if that makes sense. So there's gonna be like the Let's Play series, but besides that, I don't know how many videos there are. There is a possibility that today at noon there is going to be a very special video of me playing a rage game. Um, I used to do rage games all the time on this channel. It used to be a lot of fun. So I might be bringing some rage games back. And so that should be very interesting. You guys would probably enjoy that because I am a pretty big rager when it comes to rage games. So hopefully you guys will like that. And let's go ahead and kill these guys. Um, I don't think they have too many armies, so we should be quite fine. There's 713 over there, and it looks like they're allied with some of the Byzantine nations, and I don't think they really should pose too much of a threat. Um, I'm a little... Nah, I'm not that worried. Byzantines are probably actually not that big of a threat to me at this uh, point. I could probably take the Byzantines out, um, no problem at this point. Like, how much manpower... 12,000. Your boys got 62,000. We're actually on top. We can literally probably take on anyone at this point. We are pretty, pretty good. Um, I do have to make sure they don't go up here. Who are you guys at war with? You are losing land, I think, to the Byzantines, which... Oh, and also my vassal. So that's fun. I like you losing land to my vassal. The, like this kingdom over here, or this duchy, I don't know how they're doing so well, but I, I like it. It, it. I appreciate it. Um, they're not spreading the religion yet. Um, what is this? As our order where we grow... Oh, yes. Yes. Get, get, you, you need a city? Yeah, sure. We'll give you a city. I, I'm fine with giving the Holy Order a city. We actually probably can raise the Holy Order for this, right? Not available? Is that because we this isn't a holy war? I think if it was a holy war, they would be available. I'm not actually positive. I um, mean, my spouse is gonna be good news while we don't have someone's planning to kill me. Very interesting. That's 24,000 we're gonna send to go defeat those guys actually out there. Um, they should pose no threat to us. Uh, King Great Rass vassal oh no we don't want to do any of this because we're actually getting to give this guy that i have a strong hook on the kingdom we just have to go after uh what's it called the kingdom of um hungary because somehow we did not get this chunk of territory don't really know how that worked but we got scammed i think okay so we captured someone that i think or is that oh no that was a battle my wife is also pregnant again which i'm not actually quite happy about she's been having lots of kids um, hopefully she does have a daughter. That would be really nice. Um, while we stop under the tactics... Oh, this is, let's do a military engineer. This is just gets a new, um, trait and siege time minus 30%, which is very good. Um, I don't think we're leading any of these armies though, so I don't think it's that good. But, you know, still having us be able to siege is pretty good. Um, my spy master is great news. It is my vassal. Queen of Rob. She was trying to murder me. Very interesting. Well, we were trying to sway... No, we're still trying to sway her primary heir. So when she dies, 
her heir will like us a lot more. She's very powerful, but I'm surprised she doesn't lose some of that land because the actual kingdom doesn't go that far into Poland. Maybe if we gave Greater Poland like the actual title. I really don't think this, no, she's not even that powerful. So I don't think she can expand much anymore. So I think she just has pretty all right borders. Um, and look at the vassal borders aren't too bad until we get here, but hopefully we can fix that soon So it doesn't be so much of an eyesore because I this is a pretty big eyesore I would agree with anyone that's like hey grave border gore I thought you said you weren't gonna do that and I was like uh, I did say that but you know sometimes I lie This is one of those times where I, I lied about the border gore. There's 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 definitely some Okay, we won the war um, My vassals inform me of an underscore law is that chief random that states none but the star may be its protector. Normally such an heroic law would be dismissed but it offers a unique chance to put my vassal current ruler reb in her place. Um, you can unpress claim on the chief. Yeah, sure. I don't think I can do that or anything like that. So be it. Disband. I don't think I can like take any territory from her. See, people were also complaining about me like revoking these people's titles and them getting mad about creating rebellions, which I kind of understand. Um, we're going to go ahead and give this land to someone. And I think we're going to create this title. This is probably the easier way to do it instead of, um, what's it called? Getting people mad. Let's go ahead, find a character. We need someone that is, uh, our religion, Russian, and they do not have land. Where is land? Um, unlanded. Not landed? Or is it not ruler? Wait a minute. Adult male. I think this is it and I can grant you land. And we're going to also grant you the, um, so then you have over all of them. So then I don't have to deal with it. You have to deal with the duchy. Awesome. And then we'll probably give... Who are we giving? Um, I think the guy with the strong hook. Yeah, we're going to give him the kingdom. But we just have to wait a couple more years. How much until we are done with them? Ten months. So we have a break in the war. Um, who do we want to go after in the time period? Um, he's still looking nice with your um, sister, which is fine. Do we want to attack some of these people over here? Who are these? Uh, who are they at? Defending subjugation war. Um, defending conquest. Is someone trying to attack them? I don't think so. So I think I'll go ahead and try to attack them. I don't know why I click on them. These people pop up. They're not a vassal, are they? No. Very interesting. I don't know why that's happening. Don Valley is actually doing pretty good. So let's go ahead, get over here. Everyone I think is the right religion. We can really check fast is here. This place just needs to get changed over. This place right here, what is he going on here? You are not the right religion. Can we be the guardian of your child and convert his faith? Yes, we can. Oh yeah, so that should be fixed there. The next ruler should be the right religion. So that should be fixed there. Um, is there anything else? There's a little sliver right here. That will be fixed eventually. A um, little sliver up here. That is looking fine, actually. Um, primary hair is good too. Um, so it's looking every good for religion, and I'm pretty sure these places over here are good. I remembered I made those places very good. So it looks like we're doing fine, and then this territory over here is newly conquered slash fresh meat. So we do, however, need to change the religion of Rob eventually. So that's something we need to do. We can probably imprison her too. Can we revoke her title? Uh, we could, but I don't know if I want to do a, um, war against her. We do not have, you know, as a queen, difference in military strength, we don't have a chance. Okay, let's do a couple quick wars over here. We can actually probably do a couple at a time here. So let's go ahead, let's, oh, we have a truce on that person. 
So we can't do a war on them. Um, we could probably do a war on a couple of these weaker nations over here. I think we'll just go ahead and declare war on like three of them or something like that. Yeah, we can just go to war with like literally all of these guys here. Um, we're going fast. We're speed running these wars. Um, just because they're so weak, we can literally trample them all at the same time. Um, at least I'm hoping so. I could be overestimating my strength declaring war on four nations at the same time. But I have a... I have a good assumption that I will. Um, we had a perfect little sun. Ooh. That is actually pretty good, but you know what I'm gonna do? I'm immediately going to go ahead and disinherit him to keep our succession, uh, very clean. Um, I'm sorry, son. That's just how it has to be. Let's go ahead and, um, stop gathering them all. Um, send our armies in. I think we pretty much could send one army, one of these big chunks for each one, and be fine. So I think we should be good. Um, we're actually at war with more places than I initially anticipated. I think that's a vassal of in Bohemia. So go ahead, send you guys all around. And we should just win at every place. We just have sheer numbers on all of them. Um, Count has been successfully supporting High Chief in, in his independence faction. Her my wife has a plan to change it. Trust me, the things I could tell Count would make him disavow we see is an instant. Uh, make sure that he never supports. Yeah, sure. That, that's fine by me. If my wife wants to do that, go ahead. Um, Russia's looking good. There's a lot of internal conflicts, it looks like, right now. Ooh. Um, yeah, this guy wants to be my right-hand man. Yeah, he will serve well as my right-hand man. For all authority, I supposedly wield as czar. I cannot be everywhere at the realm once. Yes, he can serve. Also, so we won one more. Apparently, M Moldova inherited something. And I don't know if they should have. I don't know how they got this up here. It's very interesting. And I kind of like it. But hopefully they uh, lose that, I think. Not sure if they will. It's very interesting, though. Um, so we got one more. Peace out with that. Force demands. Um, they're now underneath our rule. Um, we can go ahead and probably give that to someone. Someone has that, actually. Who has that territory? Um, some, it said someone has that duchy. Does someone have that duchy? No. Who has that duchy? Who's this guy? Oh, Greater Poland guy has that duchy. Oh, then we just have to go ahead and grant vassal over? Oh no, that's not the guy we pieced out for. What? I'm so confused. I feel like we should be able to transfer. And this kid, Gaston Ward is diligent. I don't care enough about that kid. Looks like we're going to win every other war. Let's go ahead and siege there for now. Um, we're also at war with this one up here. I don't know how that happened. Um, looks like... Greater Poland, this duchy. I feel like we, oh no, no, yeah, we should be able to transfer this kingdom over. Force the Nans, yes, so be it. So they're now our vassal, but they're also, who has this duchy? No one has that duchy. Okay, so we can maybe give that away to someone. Um, you'll go ahead and siege that down. Wait a minute, so why do I not trade that land over? Or is that one of these things to be traded? No, doesn't seem like it. Very intrigued by that. They grew up so fast, my daughter's a thrifty clerk, and my son and player heir, they are a mastermind philosopher. That's a 4-1. Nice, okay. Our son is very solid. Let's go ahead and marry him off. Let's go based on congenital traits, um, inheritable. Um, what do you have? You are just intelligent. So if we go for um, Amazonian, that might be good. We need to find, I think we're so far Amazonian's the best one that I see. 
I think that's what I'm going to go for, unless I see something even better than that. Ooh, Quick and Conley is pretty good, but I don't think the chances of spreading those are good. Yes, I think we're going to go for the Amazonian one. That looks like our best bet. So let's go up here. Amazonian 32. There's a chance she'll die before... Oh, you might not get that many kids. Definitely probably should do someone younger. Okay, never mind. So we're going to... Ooh, genius. But she's way too old. Genius and giant, no. There is one that had two traits, right? I think I might go for that. Zero might be a good one. Um, Zero will have late kids. Yes, we'll go for that. Quick and Amazonian. And we'll have late kids to spread out the dynasty a little bit more. I like that idea. Excellent. Okay. So we're actually losing because it looked like they sieged something out with not me paying attention. But I don't think it should work. My paths have happened to cross with Chieftain Dragon Dragon. And to my surprise, it seems that though he does not have a great impression of my friend High Chieftain, perhaps I should take this opportunity and change his mind. Let me tell you a story. 67% chance to increase it. Hopefully I increase it. I, I tried to paint in the best possible light and Life Trent gradually started listening with a greater and greater interest. When he muttered, I never knew that to himself. I knew I made an impression. My friend is a great man. I bet he is. And now everyone believes it. Now 46,000, go murder him. Enforce demands. So be it. So, okay, they are in Greater Poland. Okay, that is what happened. They are underneath Greater Poland. Nice. That is good. Um, your hook uh, has been replaced with a favorite hook. Your hook. Hook. Uh, what's a favorite hook? Revoke title. Uh, retract vassal. Revoke title. Is there any titles I want to revoke from you? Actually, possibly. You have a lot. Is there a duchy that I don't want you to have? You can keep Greater Poland. Maybe Pomerania will get away from you. Actually, these people under here. Nah, we'll actually... Yeah, Greater Poland, what land do you have? You have that land up here. You could give it away to someone here, but I don't think so. This guy is Russian. I don't know how he controls land down there. I don't know how Russians are all the way out here. Actually quite insane. Okay, we only got one more war left in this spree of wars, but you know that it's they're about to get crushed, so and there goes that army. So be it. And then we're gonna Very good, okay. Enforce them in. So we just took three little chunks out. Disband. We have seven things to look at. Okay, we can ransom a lot of people, which is not very shocking because we literally took out three countries at one, four countries actually at once. I think that's pretty good. Um, we're pretty powerful at this point. Um, for the most part, I still have fun with these uh, campaigns. They're actually very hard. At this point, it's not, even, it's not conquering, that's the hard part, it's keeping the country together after successions. So that can be quite difficult. We can imprison her, but we don't have a good enough chance. How bad of a rebellion will we get on a decline? My T Klein, tending to marry me, also know having a farm. Starts a rebellion war, and it would just be her. Ooh, someone literally just commented, like, I hate, I hate when you start rebellions. But I'm gonna be honest, I kinda wanna start one, not gonna lie. Um, alliance power. Yeah, sure. We'll just send this proposal together. Why not? And daughter, alliance power. We'll just send it for this 18 year old. Um, chance of children high. Yeah, we don't need you for the dynasty. Um, transfer. This is still there. Can we go to war with uh, Hungary yet? Because I, I'm gonna be honest. Hungary's on my shit list. Okay, we can. But to be honest, we can only. This is so stupid. We can only go for a little county. So let's go ahead and go for that county. Declare war. We were troops over here, and we should literally take this guy out so fast. We can already stop raising troops and it should be good. Excellent. Okay, so let's go ahead and stop raising our troops. Stop gathering. All of you stop gathering. Stop gathering, unite them all together, and let's take him out. Uh, we'll let the last ones gather all the way. Should we chase them down to do a battle? No, we're gonna get a battle, so I guess that's fine. And we will pretty much win the war already, which is great. 
War is over. Time to say thank you. Okay. So imprisoning, I kind of want to do that. Designate guardian for my son. I'm still going to do that. He is disinherited. No. So it's okay. Diplomacy. I think I, I'm i very high in diplomacy. I am. So I'll be his guard. Realm will lose when Vassal dies. Who will you lose it to? Someone in the Byzant... Oh, someone in Bulgaria. So now we have to start going after Bulgaria. Because we'll lose some land. And you will lose some land. It's the other one. You will lose land up here to someone in the Byzantines. That's quite... That one's actually quite annoying. I really dislike that one. Um, rightful last siege. We don't need to care about that for right now. Tiles can be created. Oh, we can create another empire. I think we're gonna go ahead and do that. Do I, um... How's my succession looking? My succession is good. So let's go ahead. Let's create that empire title right now. Go ahead. Create that title. Um, nice. So now we have two empire titles. I think that should make our prestige go up by a fairly handsome amount. Um, because one empire does 3.2. I don't know what's if a second one makes it go up by another 3.2. I think we have to wait for the next month for that to change. No, it doesn't. Okay, it's just 3.2 for both of them, I think. Nice, that's still good. And all the kingdoms we hold is pretty good too. Mercenaries cost less. We don't need to hire no mercenaries. We're powerful. This brother can still be married and I'm still just going to let it sit there. I don't really want to marry that person off. That guy's hideous. I do not want to do that. Um, let us discuss. My marshal has been hovering around my council meetings lately, knowing the interest matters of leadership. I cannot help but feel a man is waiting for me to impress him. Let us discuss methods of communication. Yes. Let's 3,000. Let's go after this um, little person of Hungary. Chancellor died. Um, I think Chancellor died. 11's not too bad. We'll go ahead and give you that. War is over. Enforce demands. Then I'm pretty sure we can go ahead and create this kingdom. Um, up Serb, yes. And we're actually gonna grant this to, I think, this guy here. I wanna grant it to this guy. He literally was nothing. Um, what is, was this place called? Um, not Poland. Oh no, I'm so stupid. We could give him the entire empire. Not a good idea, because he'll get his independence. Um, what was the kingdom? Pernero. Pern, per I cannot pronounce. Um, so, yes, right here. We'll give him this grant title. And that's just to make someone powerful. And he's a Slovakian Russian. So he probably won't um, rebel against me. He's powerful. This one. Ooh. I did. I got, I got, I got a couple. I had a conversation back and forth with someone about how they don't let me making, um, what's it called? Uh don't like me provoking wars but to be honest i think this is the best chance to get a grasp of this territory because this could cause a lot of future rebellions so i think i'm going to try to imprison her and it's going to be a super weak rebellion so instead of like waiting for this th this territory to get really powerful and like hurt me later if i go ahead and provoke a civil war now while she's really weak i pretty much get this territory um for no, no cost. Like, there's no way that she'll beat me in this war here. So, I'm gonna go ahead and just send my troops out to go conquer everything. And it should be a pretty easy war, because this is a lot of territory. This one especially, I think for the smaller ones, it is quite annoying for me to do that. But for, like, this one, uh, she, she, I got this on a subjugation war, all this territory. So, she really is very disloyal to me. So I think trying to get the loyalty from this person is a pretty good idea. So we can go ahead and siege this all out. Um, we gotta make sure we watch her to make sure she doesn't go and siege something down that we don't want her to. For the most part, there's nothing that she'll be able to siege that we can't out siege her for. So I don't really have to worry about that. Low County and Forgus. Forgus, oh, we can give Forgus to somebody. I think we had another Russian down here. Did we have another Russian down here? We did have another Russian down here, but it looks like he got beat out. Now it looks like the Russian got his uh, claim taken from him. Very interesting. I don't, I don't appreciate that. Someone rebelled against him, it looks like. 
Very interesting. But I made that Russian guy very powerful, so he should be able to get a grasp on the territory. That's what we kind of have to do in these situations. We have to make the person we put in power uh, pretty powerful, because if we don't, they'll probably just lose it to an uprising. Um, high chieftain converted to... Oh, you're converted to Russian. I like that. That's another thing. Uh, eventually, people will start converting to certain things in Russian, hopefully. Looks like Russian is spreading a little bit more than I'm used to. Um, like, just non-starting. So that's very interesting. Okay, we are looking quite good here with religion and culture. Because um, every time there's someone with a different culture or religion, they really start to um, rebel against me. This Finland kingdom, we probably should try to make them Russian at some point. So we gotta make, we gotta keep an eye on for them to have a son and try to make them Russian per se. That will probably help. Um, there's only three kingdoms I think underneath my belt right now, and it's this one, Rab, and the other one, and they're all non-Russian, which is very scary because. The more powerful they are, and if they don't match culture and religion, the more likely they are to rebel. So you really want to keep those people kind of closer um, and try to make sure they're not angry. Oh. Well, we can't imprison her because she died. And so, um, unfortunately, this person is now in power. And we must try to convert her. We're going to try to convert her. If anything, I think we're going to send a guardian after her to convert um, her faith. Um, this person likes me a little bit better. So maybe maybe we can actually change and stuff killing. That, that kind of stinks. Um, force partition. Um, I was trying to see if I can make you not partition. Um, Leech cannot revoke Vysel's titles. Council, Sanction, War. Oh, you, you're actually pretty good, I think. I actually don't want to make you dislike me any because you're very powerful. So we'll keep you there. Um, wounded to my guide. This guest, who is going to take over this territory, is now the right religion. So nice. Very good. Okay, so we actually weren't able to do that. So would we want to go to war with Bulgaria? Or we haven't done a war with Bulgaria just yet. He's a county. He's a duchy. Um, I think we can go after a duchy, I think, right now. Yeah, let's go ahead and go after a duchy on Bulgaria. Let's slowly take stuff from Bulgaria. We're going to have to do a lot of wars with them. Um, but I think we can slowly eat away at them. Um, it shouldn't be too hard to kill Bulgaria. I know how we can employ both strategies. Yes, easy peasy for both strategies. I think we have enough troops now, so we can go ahead and stop gathering. Ugh. Select. Select. Group together. Stop gathering. And go ahead and stop gathering the rest either. We'll just have two large armies. Yeah. And then go ahead and siege everything down. Um... Uh, what's going Izzel is fiddling nervously with his sleeve as I open the door staring at What is he doing here at this hour? My deepest apologies, but I must speak with you. A private matter. I've discovered something interesting. Izzel has uncovered a, a secret of high shift, and he's willing to share if I let him off the hook. I swear after this he will no longer owe me. Um. Yeah, sure. What's the secret? Child heritage. And can we blackmail you? Um, oh, I'm compassionate, so I can't really blackmail him. I kind of want to, you know, it'd be kind of fun. You know? Um, oh, my right-hand man, an extra hand, we shall become friends. Yes, I love that decision. I think that is very cool that you become friends with your right-hand man. Um, let's go ahead and split army in half. And we're going to go ahead and take all the non-sieging um, stuff off. And go ahead and... They're going to go fight wherever they pop up. Who are you fighting here? You guys are fighting for a county or something like that. Apparently they just fought someone. The archers did. So 
we got 25,000 to deal with the Bulgarian army if they ever pop up, but I don't think they will anywhere. So I think we're fine. The yellow guys are looking like they're kind of defending against the Bulgarians, I mean Byzantines, but not too much. They just lost some to the little Bulgaria. But I think we're doing actually quite fine. And my friend and I just got died. Yeah, why not? Of course, of course. Um, we are probably commanding an army, so we can't, uh, what's it called? Force demands or anything like that. Um, these guys are also getting raided. I have realized no one has raided me in a long time. I don't think no one wants to catch these fists. Dagnus, my guest in ward, I don't care, you can be generous. You're, I'm just doing this to make your father or whatever, my religion or my claim or whatever. I don't actually care. How did you become a leaper? Ooh, yikes. X X X. Can imprison criminals. Call allies. I don't really want to call allies. Um, we have not been doing control, so go ahead and do control. Development in Novgorod probably doing really good. Seventeen, not too shabby, not too shabby. Um, and we're still converting religion from a couple episodes ago. Religion conversion is pretty slow most of the times, especially when you don't have um the right territory. The right stuff, I mean. Where the heck is the Bulgarian army, and why aren't they fighting me? You gotta have some army somewhere. No, they don't. They have seven... You... Are you guys fighting someone else right now? Why do you have so little troops? That's pretty bad. My vassal has accused my vassal of having committed sumility together with his lover. Ooh, this crime cannot go unpunished. I will always imprison people, especially if they're my vassal. You are also my vassal that I like. Uh, you have a hundred opinion of me still. So I'm gonna go ahead and just ransom you off and say you're good. Yeah. A new opponent. Nothing in the world is certain, especially in times of war. The Russian conquest is no different. My goal is still the same. Yes. Apparently, you are now the new ruler, and you are just as weak. So we shall still kill you, no matter what. I'm sorry. Um, some of my counselors have believed the job is theirs right of blood or influence. Oh, how wrong they are. I expect results, and yet I'm often disappointed. Who am I vice? My wife will help the steward, because no one else seems to really want it. Um, steward actually quite likes me, which is very interesting. That's a guy of Finland. Um, we definitely need to convert you at some point. Offer guardianship. Um, this Russian guy is pretty close to converting you. I'm going to try to convert her and then maybe change them to Russian, if that makes sense. So it will be a Russian that's also um, Russian with the right religion. I think that's actually possible because I think when I demand conversion, it makes everyone in her household also convert. I could be wrong though. I also think none of these rebellions besides independence faction. Oh, this one. I think this one's all in Finland, right? Could be wrong. Yeah, most of this lands in Finland and in America. Uh, UK, I mean. That's the one's pretty pretty powerful. Makes sense. These guys are all to the right. Not too powerful. Independence faction scattered along. Um, but no one's really too powerful. Who is this? Why? Hmm. You seem very interesting. I don't know why you don't like me too much. We could make your son Russian. You might be on the list, dude. You might be on the list. Everyone else is really not too powerful. This is also new territory, and this, I think, is new territory as well. Are you direct vassals of me? You shouldn't be. You are a direct vassal to me. Huh. You, got, you two are. Okay, maybe we have to do something with you to make you not a direct vassal. Um, what duchy would that be in? Oh, that's something that's not created yet. Um, we'll do that right now so I don't forget. We'll create this duchy. And we'll go ahead and give that to a Russian, I think. Is there a Russian here that would be really good? Yeah, sure. We'll give it to you right here. What's this territory we just looked at? Um, we would have to give him a county first. Never mind. That was a bad idea. Um, well, we, now we have this territory that we can't really give away. Interesting. Well, maybe we can give away some territory in this war right here. I forgot they have to have a county as well. 
we'll slowly keep sieging away. Oh, is that the army? The army's finally here. Take them out. They're finally here. Time to attack. On pause the game. No, don't run, please. I beg you. I just wanna I just wanna have a nice talk with you, Bulgaria. About why you shouldn't ever not give me your land for nothing. Thank you. Have a nice day. Just keep on sieging the land. Problem is Bulgaria is pretty weak, but they have a lot of land. So really gotta win the wars, which we just did, and then siege a whole bunch of land down. Which I think we're we might do it actually after this one. We might need one more after that. It's gonna be pretty close, I think. Um, my vassal has been wounded. Hmm. There's nothing I can do. He's dead. Um, ended your. Why did I end swaying her? Can I sway her again? Yes. Keep trying to sway her. Someone's doing a liberty war against her. Interesting. Ah, we do. Enforce demands. So be it. Um. I can't actually get any territory here. Is this in a kingdom? We can actually grant that to you, right? Yes. Awesome. Now we have too many duchies. So I guess, to be honest, is there anyone with really few territories that is Russian? Oh, is this... Are you all independent out here? And you're in Down Valley? Yo, we're gonna give you this random buck out of nowhere territory out here just because I don't want to deal with it okay but this band um that's some border gore right there for sure um very bad border gore but it gets the work done holy cow what's happening here here any war ah uh, interesting well hopefully you can deal with it but hopefully you guys are liking the series um we're expanding Russia's expanding in the British Isles too um but make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in a future episode thank you see you later if you like this video, check out some of my other content. I do timelesses, I do let's plays, I do challenges, I do a whole bunch of stuff. And so if you liked it, check out some of these videos on the screen now, some playlists. And thank you for supporting the channel. I actually appreciate it. I couldn't do it without you. See you later. Have a good one.